What you doing? Good morning, everyone. So Thor is feeling much better today. He uh, hopped out of bed by himself before I could stop him. Went downstairs by himself, all without crying at all. He did move slowly, but he managed to do it all right. So I think he's getting better. Um, so if this keeps up, I may call the vet Monday, um, see if it's okay to start weaning him off the meds. But um, I mean, he's not, He's not 100%. He's not jumping or, you know, doing the leaping like he used to do. He's taking it slow, which is good. Um, but, you know, it's a big improvement over what he was on, uh, was it Thursday or Friday? Thursday. When he was crying every time he uh, stood up and sat down. Now he's able to stand up, lay down without crying at all. So, definitely a big improvement. So, I thought we'd go ahead and open up his bark box. Um, he's not obviously not going to be able to play chase or anything with the toys. But you know, if there's some chewy, squeaky ones, he'll be able to chew on them. And he'll definitely be able to enjoy the treats. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open and see what's inside. So she says, Bark Box is possum. We even made sure there are extra goodies. Can't wait to see your video opening it. Channel Lunatic, the Husky, and April. So make sure and swing by and check them out. I'll go ahead and put a uh, link to their channel down in the description below. Uh, be sure to swing by and give them some love. Well, thank you very much. Says, you lucky dog. You're holding the double deluxe bark box. It says, someone special has given you and your dog a spectacular surprise. For one extraordinary month, your magnificently massive bark box is double the size of a regular box. Double the toys, double the treats, and double the chews. Who knows what wonderful, wondrous surprises and tail wagging delights await. Oh, the fun is just beginning. Yeah, this is really cool. Actually, this is uh, one of the other uh, boxes I was gonna, I was planning to go try out. Okay, let's see. It says, The City Sniffer's Guide to New York City. Take a big whiff of the Big Apple. This month we're heading to the city that never sleeps. From dollar pizza to smelly taxi cabs, this month's Bark Box is a whirlwind New York tour through your dog's eyes and nose. If you get lost, don't forget to check your map or ask your dog. We hear they're pretty good navigators. All right, what all did we get? We got a squeaky bird. Lots of different kind of squeak. You want this? <laughs> He's kind of interested. He's like, what is that thing? Yeah, it's making funny noises. What is that? Oh, you want it? Okay. He's going to take his bird off. <laughs> oh, you want to see what else you got? Good job. All right. Here, let's get him out of the mud. He just got him. You don't want him muddy. All right, next. Did you just... I think he just burped at me. <laughs> next, we got a New York taxi cab. Oh, all of a sudden, you're interested now. You like this squeaker. All right. We've also got a giant pretzel. You can't really eat that. We've got, what is this thing? Oh, Hugo's liter Liberty Balls. This must be the uh, head of the Statue of Liberty. And it squeaks. Oh, oh, you want to get to the treats, don't you? I think that's what he's really interested in. All right, so. We've got a couple of these uh, chewy treats. Actually, one of these right here this is perfect i got a, a new toy puzzle for him i'll show that to you guys but basically you insert one of these inside of it and he has to work to uh, get to it and it's almost impossible although he has kind of figured it out a couple of times but i'll show you that a little later but we'll definitely this is definitely perfect so you got one of these this is a six inch crunchy tube um this looks like a beef gullet, like the one we had before. If so, he'd probably like it. Actually, it looks like a, looks like a beef throat or something. All right. Does that smell good? It's like, I might want to take that away. Hold on, but we've got more treats to look at. 
All right, so we've got four bags. All right, so first up, we've got wheat-free, corn-free, soy-free. This is the New York City. These are pretzel treats, or yeah, Central Park pretzels. All right, let's see. Get a taste of everything our dogs love about New York City, the birthplace of bark. We've combined the savory ingredients that make mutt mouth water with the famous street foods that fuel the greatest city on earth. All right, let's try one of these out. You want one? He's still sniffing that beef thing. Some of you guys commented how sad he looked in the uh, pictures from before when he was hurt. You can definitely tell he's feeling better. Doesn't look sad anymore. All right, Thor, you wanna try one? There you go. He's walking off with it. He always likes to walk off with his treats and eat it somewhere else. You could have just chewed it here, but that's all right. Looking on that one, we'll go ahead and look at the next item. We've got, oh, he's already on his way back. These are Barkland Bagels. Oh, the uh, description on the back basis is the same thing. Um, before, the other one was chicken and cheese. This is bacon oatmeal flavored. So, <clears throat> wanna try one of these now? All right, here's the Barkland Bagel. You want a Barkland Bagel? Okay. Oh, he's going to eat that one here. All right. Already done? Okay. So the next one we've got is Steak Chew of Liberty. All right, let's open this guy up. All right. Oh, it's shaped like a little T-bone. And he's going to walk off with that one. All right, last but not least, Central Pork Pizza. Ooh. All right, let's open this guy up. All right, it's a little pizza slice. You wanna try this? It's a little pizza. Oh, pizza, I love pizza. All right, looks like you liked it. All right, well, we can't play around with the uh, toys much, but I can go ahead and open up that chew and see if he's interested in having it. All right, got it out of its wrapper. Okay. You might devour this thing like you did the uh, beef gullet. That's it for the Bark Box unboxing. Thank you very much, April and Luna. We really appreciate it. But anyway, we'll see what else we can get into today. Like I said, I may try to do some uh, some of his puzzle toys with him because I really can't run around or anything. I know he wants to. But uh, we'll probably take a walk right after that. We'll just have a chill day at home. Did you get a bunch of good stuff? Here's that toy I was talking about. So you put the uh, beef stick in the middle here and it's supposed to keep it inside and this stuff around it is pretty indestructible. Um, so he's chewed on it and hasn't been able to break it or even dent it. Uh, but basically they can taste the treat. They can't fully get to it, but uh, unless they push it out. Now Thor has gotten it knocked out a bit because he'll hold it sideways and knock it out but then he knocks it back in. So he hasn't he hasn't gotten to the point where he's knocked it out a bit and then was able to pull the rest of the way out. But anyway, that's his toy and that beef stick will work perfectly for it. You wanna play with it? All right, all right. Can you tell someone's excited to go on a walk? This will be our second walk today. He's doing very good. A, there we go, got that hooked up. Are you ready? All right, well, he was kicking, pulling, trying to get out. Slow down, bud. I know you're feeling better, but we need to make sure it stays good. This is such an improvement over yesterday. I'm so glad it was nothing serious and he's feeling much better. It was weird seeing Thor being all lethargic and not moving very much. He's almost back to his normal self now. friends is outside right up there 
We see them on the, when we take walks to the neighborhood, we see them all the time. It's one of Thor's buddies. been a good day so far. He seems to be feeling better and it's snowing. This is awesome. I doubt it's going to last, but we're going to come out here and enjoy it while it's here. Got a good amount to stick, but the uh, snow has slowly turned to a light drizzle of rain. Don't really expect this to last too long. It'll start melting again. In fact, next week I think we're going to be up in the uh, upper 50s and low 60 degree temperatures Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is Celsius. If I, I'll figure it out if I remember while well, editing, I'll put it on the screen. But either way, it's going to be like spring, early summer temps down here. You know, Thor's doing much better though. Um, he hasn't had any any instance today where he's whined or cried about doing anything. He even hopped on the couch by himself. So, I mean, it's almost like we probably could have gone to Alpina, but I think it's um, best uh, that we uh, rest his leg, make sure he's 100% better before we go do anything. It's really tough to keep a husky down, especially when he's feeling good. He wants to go do stuff. <clears throat> but it's in his best interest to rest up because we don't want him to re-injure that leg or do anything that would cause permanent damage. You know, it could always be worse next time if we don't let it rest all the way. So, this weekend's just gonna be a uh, weekend of hanging around the house. We'll figure out some other stuff to do. It'll give me a chance to work on some stuff for his channel and his website. This one blueberry plant here still has leaves on it from last year. We kind of went straight from uh, summer to winter. There wasn't really a uh, middle period. So um, we even had, I even had some of my strawberry plants like down here and over here start sprouting again because it was still so warm late in the year last year. Um, and that just froze. But uh, so yeah, I don't think that's hurting it or anything. Some of these leaves are still fairly attached, but I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm hoping it doesn't get uh, this warm week coming up doesn't cause them to start budding again. So I'll have to start covering it because you know it's still February. It's not even March yet. We could still get a few more freezes in. So I'll have to keep an eye on these guys. Thor likes his fresh blueberries and strawberries. Don't you, bud? Hi, how's it going? So this is us from a couple days later. I completely forgot to uh, film anything else the rest of that day. Um, I think we just got busy relaxing, uh, watching TV, stuff like that. But anyway, Thor is continuing to do even better. Today he did a whole lot of running, had a uh, bunch of zoomies in the backyard, and still has had no issues with pain. So things are looking up. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be able to make a trip up north and he'll get to see all of his friends again and have a good time until then guys thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure and give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss any of Thor's videos and we'll see you guys in the next one he's already out uh, he's awake again <laughs>
Good night, buddy. Oh, you're a good boy. <laughs>